bones and you need more oxygen, this is one of the ways your body does it. You're, you're doing your you know, triathlon training up in the hills because you're gonna be a stud when you come down to the beach in Venice Beach to run faster than everybody else. You do what some call blood doping. You go up to the mountains and then you are purposely starving yourself of some oxygen. Your body says, I want more red blood cells. One of the ways it does that is your body will naturally increase your testosterone levels to increase your ether, your erythropoietin to thus increase your red blood cells. Then you go back down the hill and now you can carry more oxygen whenever you're jogging. So this is a natural process, right? So now whenever we're taking testosterone, we're kind of like stepping in that process and enhancing it. So whenever this process happens, it can show up in your blood work and your doctor might be concerned about it. So have a conversation with your doctor, right? Ask him, you know, how does this work? Why is this happening? And is this gonna be harmful for me? And in his opinion, what does he think? And how should we be handling it, right? Should we reduce our testosterone? Should we take me off the testosterone? Should we just have me donate blood? Sometimes they'll have you donate blood, right? You'll go to like a blood draw center. They'll take whole blood or they'll take just your red blood cells. So there's a few different options to, um, to, to, to go about handling this.